everyone, my name is Courtney Budzen and this is What's For Din. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make salsa chicken. It's quick, simple, easy to put together, but it's packed with a ton of flavor. You will make this every week after you do this at least one time. I guarantee it. So let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. So you're gonna need a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, some boneless skinless chicken breast, bell pepper, freshly chopped onion, garlic, jalapeno pepper, cilantro, a little bit of juice from a lime, some crushed tomatoes, beer or white wine. This is optional, but I feel that it just adds a little added flavor, a little bit of water, some cumin, cayenne pepper, oregano, salt, and pepper. So that's all the ingredients you need. If you're one of the 2% of the population who's actually allergic to cilantro, you could just swap it out for fresh Italian parsley instead. That way you don't have to deal with the allergic reactions. A lot of people say it tastes like soap. Beats me, it doesn't taste like soap to me. So let's go over to the stove and we'll get started. So I went ahead and added a little bit of olive oil to my pan and I salt and peppered one side of the chicken breast. Now ideally you would want to use a non-stick pan for this. Um, I'm not doing that today but that's okay. I'm just going to scrape all the burnt bits off the bottom and that's going to add a lot of flavor. So my olive oil is nice and hot. I only seasoned one side and I'm going to season the other side as it's in the pan. And what we're looking to do is just get a little bit of color on these. We're not looking to cook it all the way through just yet. Okay, you can see it developed a little bit of color on the outside, so we're just gonna transfer these to a plate and they're not cooked all the way through. So now to my oil, you can see all those bits at the bottom. We're gonna add our onion, ooh, got me. And garlic, pepper, jalapeno, cilantro, squeeze of lime juice. And we're going to season this with a little bit of salt and pepper. And we want to just cook this until the onions are somewhat translucent and the vegetables are nice and soft. And in the meantime, you can scrape all of the brown bits at the bottom of your pan. That's a lot of good flavor. Okay, our vegetables are slightly softened now. I'm going to go ahead and add my beer. You can use white wine too, whatever your little heart desires. Turn up the heat. Just kind of let that simmer out for about a minute and a half. So the beer has had a chance to kind of cook out the alcohol. Now I'm going to add my seasonings, my tomatoes, and a little bit of water. And then season that again with salt and pepper. Give this a nice stir. Look at the colors in that. It's just so pretty. Okay, now that that's up to a simmer, I'm going to go ahead and put all the chicken breasts right back in. Just kind of get, get them down in the juice. A little bit on that on top. Okay, I'm going to put the lid not all the way on. I'm going to leave it kind of cracked so a little bit of steam can escape. And we're going to leave this on about medium heat to simmer until the chicken's all the way cooked. So it depends on how big your chicken breasts are, like with anything else. It's probably gonna take about half an hour or so, maybe less. So just take the temperature and see if it's at 160 degrees, and if it is, good to go. So I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, our salsa chicken is completely done. And I like to eat mine with a little bit of pasta. So I just take my pasta, a little bit of that extra sauce, and that's why I make so much sauce is because I like to put it over rice or something or pasta. Look at that. Yum. Mm. Mm -mm. The flavor is just so perfect. It's not too spicy, even though I added two whole jalapeno peppers. It's perfect to pair with pasta, in my opinion. You could even put some shredded cheddar over top of this and that would even add to the flavor but it really doesn't even need anything else so i hope you enjoyed spending time with me making this recipe if you remake this recipe or any of my other recipe recipes marissa please please tag me on instagram i will leave the link in the description below don't forget to like subscribe and comment and share this with your friends and family and we will see you soon bye